Stop shut down. Hey guys, Swinky Face 14 here, and I was crazy at the start. I'm so sorry, but this is a snapshot video because this week's snapshot, which is 21W10A, has one big addition to the caves as well as some changes, minor changes to the blocks and also some ores and of course the ore generation so let's talk about these minor changes small things before we go to this one thing in the caves so let's jump into the world look at this brand new world guys so we are in the ocean and the ocean has nothing to do with this but there are now new textures deep slate and cobbled deep slate so if you look here this is the cobble deep slate. Uh, it looks like a cobblestone, but like darker. And this is the new deep slate. Uh, I think they changed the top and the sides as well. Small tweaks, but there's also one change here. Because now, the deep slate can be placed on any axis. So, because the deep slate has a specific top and bottom textures. It's like a pillar. We can just use it, you know, we can have the walls this actually looks cool yo that actually looks cool as a wall it's like the wall is going to the right it's really cool and it's a small change for the deep slate that's not cobbled uh this is the deep slate and also we can use a furnace cooking the deep cobbled deep slate into the deep slate, the nor the, the the normal deep slate. So it's like cobblestone to stone, you know, it's pretty normal. Uh, also, small changes we're gonna do for like lightning rounds. Lightning rounds. <laughs> Speaking of, you cannot water. Wait, wait. Sorry, you cannot water log lightning rods. I need the bucket. Sorry. Okay, water. Um. Never mind then, this doesn't work, I guess. Because it said in the website that wa lightning rod can now be waterlogged, and I guess you cannot. Okay, <laughs> moving on. We have fossils in the deepest part of the underground generate with deep state diamond ore instead of coal. So, what that means if uh, if you know the fossils, like those big rib cages underground, if those spawn in the deep slate or uh, the yeah, the deep slate area, so below zero, it will now spawn with deep slate diamonds compared to ores, uh, compared to coal ores. And oh, some of the ores are now changed. So if we go to ores, or, oh, or, we now, okay, so the iron ore has been changed. Also, they added deep slate, copper ore, coal ore, and emerald ore. But uh, this do not, these do not generate naturally. So these are just mainly used for, um, for map makers and yeah, map makers. So iron has some changes. Uh, diamonds has a little bit of change. Yeah, they changed the diamond just a little bit. As you can see, yeah. So the stone version, they changed the stone version just a little bit, just to make it unified with these deep slate diamond ores. So it's not that much. It's not that big of a change, you know, just a little bit of uh, textures and stuff. Uh, I will just post a picture provided by uh, Mo Yang uh, in their website in this uh, snapshot. So yeah, all of those changes. Um, yeah, so this the iron ore has been changed just a little bit, and yeah, it's not it's not anymore like the lines. It's now a bit. Uh, it looks like the diamond ore, but like the the chunks are bigger. <laughs> That's just just it. Yeah. So now that we have tackled everything here, look at that deep slate. Uh, let's talk about ore distribution. Okay. So I'm just gonna read it off the website. So I'm just gonna show you the picture provided. It's gonna read it off the website. All right. So the changes here is that there will be more emeralds in mountains, more lapis less copper gold and redstone so they have reduced the the amount that it spawns there will be smaller diamond blobs so basically smaller veins around the world but it is now more frequent 
so those smaller blobs will be much more there will be more occurrence in the world but in overall scheme or the grand scheme of things it's basically still less diamond ore compared to the previous snapshot or previous iteration of the ore distribution um it is now uh there will be less iron so and it also generates lower than compared to before like last week's uh, no 21w08a compared to that snapshot it is now less and it also generates lower like in the y level and also coal will not be uh exposed to air or you know when whenever you go to the caves it doesn't uh, uh, some veins there will be less veins there you go there will be less veins that will be exposed to air basically exposed to caves that you can probably that you can easily see okay we have here technical changes <laughs> oh boy this is a doozy now uh let's actually go here let's just admire this there it is wow look at that so there is now uh the game is now using OpenGL 3.2 core profile so be uh it's just some technical stuff uh it says here that shaders will be support uh, are now included for all supported render states any shader except for a blit shader can also be replaced in resource packs for now replacing these shaders is not officially supported and the way it works may change in the future so there is a chance in the future that shader like there will be an official shader support in the game uh, it also says here the current rendering engine uses a system similar to the post-processing shader pipeline there is some differences between both systems that cater to the slightly different requirements um basically there is a chance in the future that the game will officially support shaders it's only a chance we, we're not sure yet okay the maximum size next this is next technical state technical change the maximum size that slimes can be summoned with is now 128 so basically you can summon the bigger slimes and also the, the the give command can only give up to 100 stacks of items at a time uh, I, I i'm not sure if before it was in infinite so i i can't remember but uh now it's now limited to for example 64 6400 items that can be stacked with 64 or a hundred non-stackable items it's like swords and stuff all right that's gonna be that's gonna be the technical changes oh i also forgot about the new items there are now infested deep slates uh this contains silver fish if you break them so yeah there is now an infested deep slate and so you better be careful so welcome guys to the lush caves now in this snapshot um the lush caves will not generate with the normal world because uh the weight i generated this is using single biome generation so this is what the lush caves looks like so there would be some moss uh this is the glowberries the glowberry vines we have here spore blossoms uh, of course the moss block we have the azalea bush yeah flowering azalea that's azalea bush um we have the glowberries and uh, there will be moss carpets uh there you go here's one yep moss carpets and if we look from uh if we go back up there is an azalea tree there you go here here it is here is the azalea tree you have the flowering azalea, azalea leaves. And I don't think there's an azalea sapling. So this is a really rare tree that you can only find in the overall uh, in the overall when once it starts to generate. Now uh the the lush caves um the lush caves blocks have been added way before. I think it was I, I can't remember which snapshot was it but this blocks has been added beforehand before they added the lush caves so this is how the lush caves look like 
as I've uh, uh, I think I've said that before, but look at this. It's really it's not that green. Oh, also, here's the drip uh, drip leaf, <laughs> drip drip drip. No drip leaf, drip leaf. This is the big drip big. This is the big jeep drip. <laughs> I can't pronounce things right now. Okay, this is the big jeep drip leaf, drip leaf. So of course. I don't think if you if you sneak down, okay. If you sneak it more, it will stop you. All right. This is the normal drip leaf, drip drip leaf, drip leaf. <laughs> That's how you say it. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is really. Oh my gosh, this is this is a good. Wow. Oh, why did I press two F two? This this actually really cool. Let's uh, okay. Let's uh, remove the effects. Right. It's pretty dark. We should probably not do that. <laughs> but this this is an example of of how beautiful this new cave generation will be. Oh boy. This is gonna look really good once it, once this it starts to like, you know, spawn when it generates like normally. Wow, this is actually really cool. So yeah, this is the bit. This is the lush caves, which is just green, and uh, this is a new block, right? Uh, oh, it's clay. Oh yeah, oh clay will now spawn. Oh, clay spawns on the lush caves as well. Whenever there's like water, there's like a lot of clay here. Wow. Okay, let's read through the things. Yeah. Okay, moss covers the floors and ceilings. Spore blossoms grow from the ceiling and drip and drip particles. Oh my god, the drip will kill me. Pronouncing drip. Contains clay pools with drip leaf plants that grow out of them. Contains azalea bushes and flowering azalea bushes. The azalea tree loves to have its roots in lush caves. If you find an azalea tree, go underground. You know, that's what they said in the uh, Mine Minecraft Live. Yeah. And we have here cave vines with glowberries grow from the ceiling. Light. Not a uh, of the caves. So that's basically everything about this uh, cave type. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can get a lot of clay from here. <laughs> wow, if you just walking around here is just pretty cool. You know, we are below level zero. So you, we can sleep slate here, but like, look at this. This is really cinematic. Wow. Wow, this is really cool. That'll be the last thing. Oh, no, fire, fire, fire. No, 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 no fire. Stop it, stop, stop. No, 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 no fire, no fire. Stop it, stop, no fire. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> so that's gonna be it in this snapshot video. And if you guys like this video, thank you guys so much for watching. And. <laughs> Hit the like button so that you can see more of these beautiful caves. Oh my gosh. This is actually really scenic. Wow. It's going up here. Like looking down like, oh my gosh. This update is going to be something else, dude. Wow. So if you like more, if you like to see more videos, you can go and subscribe so that uh, you can get your weekly snapshot diet. Your weekly snapshot meals. Oh, why? That looks freaking cool. And if you like this video, I will make more of these every week. As I, you know, as I've seen, uh, this video, this type of video, are really getting some views. So, uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Uh, this is not that in depth like other YouTubers, but still, you can. Oh, that's that's really bizarre. <laughs> Um, at, at least you guys can see like the small, some small details that you need to know about the snapshot. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and see you on the next video. And hopefully next week, if there's a snapshot, this is actually freaking cool. Wow. <laughs> see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye guys. Whoa. Whoa. What is this? Oh, this is the vines.